Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll talk about how you can create a 360 degree lens. The process is pretty straightforward. You have to follow three basic steps. First step is to get a 360 degree texture. The second step is to apply it in Lens Studio. And the third step is to sync the motion of your phone to the 360 degree texture. So when you move your phone, you can look around instead of the texture moving with you. Now for the first step that is getting the 360 degree texture there are mainly two ways one is to get it online there are several websites i will list them in the description uh, one of which is where i got this from and the second way is using apps on your phone to capture your own 360 degree textures unless you have a 360 degree camera with you now once you have a texture with you the rest of the process is pretty straightforward the first thing that we're going to do is go into the objects panel and add a mesh that is a sphere make sure it is not a child of the camera because we want the camera and the sphere to be separate because the camera that is the phone will be moving while the sphere stays in place so the user can look around because if you make it a child of the camera whenever you are moving the phone the sphere will move with the phone so make sure the sphere is not a child of the camera the second thing i'm going to do is import the texture that i showed you earlier here we have the texture now let me go into resources material let me add an unlit material once we have the material in the texture I'm going to select the sphere bring the unlit material here I'm going to the material enable base texture and add the texture here now we have a sphere with the 360 degree texture applied to it but that is not what we want what we want to do is select the sphere and make it big enough to surround the user with the sphere selected scale it is at one let's take it to maybe around 100 so it's that big now this step that i'm about to show you is very important when creating a 360 degree lens you select the material you go to the cull mode and change it from back to front you see what happened as soon as I did that because cull decides where the texture is applied. Back culling means that the texture is applied to the outside of the sphere. We want you to look at it from the inside. So we change it to front culling. That means the texture is applied on the inside. So now that we have the texture inside, what we do is go into the camera and go into component and look for device tracking and change this to rotation okay so what this does is let you look around because what will happen is even if this sphere is not connected to the camera if you don't enable this you won't be able to look around the surroundings uh, when you're using the lens you can demonstrate this to you by going to the third setting here in the preview that is an immersive environment and by looking around you see now if i disable this i can't look around enable I can look around again. You can also send this to your device and make sure it works on your phone as well. But you might have noticed that we can't see the person anymore. We can't see you uh, in the lens, which kind of beats the purpose. It needs to show you so you enjoy using the lens. So what we need to do is go into resources, texture, go down, segmentation, portrait background. Now with the camera selected, you see the mask texture here drag this and drop this here there now we have the person in view so with that you have your own 360 degree immersive lens now if you want to learn more about lens studio and watch more tutorials i will link a playlist here that is it for now i'll see you in the next one